and hello YouTube, this is GS Man with Smart, and I'm going to a brand new video for Tutorials of GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Photoshop and how to make body parts bigger. You know, in those magazines where you see these girls with these big breasts, and you see some of these girls with like very slim bodies. Well, sometimes, and actually, I don't want to say sometimes, because more than not, um, they do go through some Photoshop. And I want to show you guys today how this process works and how you can make your boobs bigger or how you can make your body slimmer. And it's actually not too difficult. The, the way to do it is not too difficult, but to perfect it, it can be a little time consuming. So we may not get it perfect in the video, but I will be showing you how to do it and the tools that you need. And I'll explain, I'll be explaining the technique, but um, take some time to perfect it. So here we have a picture, um, so obviously just a regular picture. What we're going to try to do is make uh, breasts bigger, obviously. And the way you want to do this is go up to filters and go ahead and click liquify. Now liquify is a really powerful tool. It's probably one of the more powerful tools in Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Uh, if you want to zoom in a little more, you can. Uh, the more you're zoomed in, the better it is actually. And on the right side here, you'll see that you have a brush size and a brush pressure. And basically, the thing is, is you have these tools in the left here. Now, each of these tools do something different. You can play around with them. But probably the best ones you want to look at are this one's really important right here. Because this one basically, for example, if we go ahead and use this first tool, you can screw around with this. But when you click the second tool here, it makes everything go back to normal. So in case you mess up you want to use the reconstruct tool because the reconstruct will basically make everything go back to normal. So reconstruct tool is something you want to be using a lot. Now the forward wrap tool, when you're doing this, you want to make sure you use a small brush size because we don't want to go too big, depending on how big your picture is. But basically what you'll see is when you do this, you can sort of stretch out the pixels here like so and if you carefully do this it'll look pretty realistic right and we can do the same with this side over here and, you know when you're doing this just try to make it look realistic you know a little like so and if we click reconstruct we can basically see everything back to normal. But you see, it's, it's a huge difference, actually. Now, uh, if you want to use a, if you want to use forward warp tool, it's a good tool, but I think a better tool to use for this would probably be the pucker tool. I think this is the one. Oh no, the pucker tool is the one that makes it thinner. So we're going to be using the pucker tool on another image that I'm going to show you to make someone thinner. But the bloat tool is actually really good. This is the one I was talking about. The bloat tool is really good, because check this out. You can basically, it's a lot easier to make it big. Um, let me reconstruct though. But if we just slowly go around the edges here. You see it's a little more pixelated, so you want to be careful with this one. You may want to use um, less, you may want to use a smaller size for this. You may want to be, be careful with the bloat one. But in general, this is actually a really good tool. The only problem is that it does get a little pixelized. So be wary when you use this tool. But it essentially does the same thing. It just bloats the pixels here. Right? And uh, you can use a zoom tool, obviously, to zoom out and zoom in. But it's a clear difference from the original image. So for this technique to make boobs bigger, obviously, you want to either use the forward warp tool or you want to use the bloat tool. Either of those are good. And uh, yeah, that one doesn't really do anything. This one's sort of like the odd one, the push left tool. Um, I don't really use this one a lot. So, but yeah, that's how you basically make your boobs bigger by using the forward warp or the bloat tool. Now we're gonna be taking a look at another image right here. And we're going to be trying to make this uh, this picture, we're going to try to make the female thinner here. And same same idea, filters, liquify. And you always want to make sure you zoom in a good enough, a good amount. Right? 
And, um, yeah, so maybe we want to zoom out just a little more. I think that's good right there. And for this one, we want to use the pucker tool. Now, same as before, you want to make sure you're using not too big of a brush size. And check this out. Really powerful tool here. You can basically push the skin inward. Like so. And it's kind of weird. The tool's kind of weird to use. But, um... You know, if you play around with it a little bit, you can actually make it look really good. So, obviously not perfect, but as you see, if we compare it to before, it does look thinner, right? And we can do the same for legs very easily. You want to be careful when you go to the bottom of the image, it can get a little weird. The bottom, the bottom of the image can get a little weird. But you get the idea. You see when you go to the bottom, you sort of get like this, this white area here. But you get the idea. It pretty much works on everything. But very different to the original image. Now, obviously, the more time you take on this, the uh, easier and the better the result will be here. But to make it perfect, you literally have to sit for around 20 minutes to try and make it look really good. Um, I would say, obviously, uh, making boobs bigger is a lot easier than um, making um, a body slimmer. But it is doable with the Liquify tool. So hopefully you, uh, hopefully you understood how it's done. Just use these tools on the left here. You have the move tool which you can use but it's it's honestly only good for if you're zoomed all the way in you can use the move tool then to oops you can use the move tool then to sort of move the image around like so but that's pretty much the tutorial i want to show you guys hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial um like i said um i couldn't i mean it'll take me a long time to actually perfect this but that that is the tool you want to be using the liquify tool if you have any questions or comments uh, any suggestions, you can leave in the comments section below. We have plenty of other Photoshop tutorials on the channel if you want to check them out. Uh, about different tools, about uh, layer masking, about uh, cutting out images, all kind of cool stuff. So if you're interested in Photoshop, any other software tutorials we have on the channel as well. And that'll be for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. I hope that this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment below as well and give some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well. And I usually try my best to answer those comments within the next 24 to 48 hours, depending on how busy I am. I also have plenty of other content on my channel about different gaming tutorials, as well as general gaming videos for Guild Wars 2, League of Legends, Minecraft, and any others that you may be interested in. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe too would really appreciate you can also check out my other channels and social medias that show on the screen right now and with that thank you so much everyone and this is gs man smart and i'll be back sooner than you think don't go anywhere